I'm Chris Gates and this is my wife Deborah. We met in uh, July 4th, 1993 in Guam. So this year we'll be 23 years married. We have a 21 year old Chris Allen Gates Jr. and we have a 16 year old Grace Ann. I basically have been gone for most of their whole life. I did 26 years in the Navy. I retired as a senior chief. I'd done 11 deployments. I had almost 13, 14 years of sea time. It's just kind of parenting from afar, you know, it just, it's, it is difficult. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it's, it kind of sucks that he's not always there for you and you don't get to talk to him as much just because he's, you have to get through email. Actually some, like throughout high school, people would ask me if I had a dad. And it's just, you would just say, oh, he's on a ship. You couldn't really explain it that well because nobody really knows the whole thing. It's basically like meeting my kids all over again every time I come home because they would grow and so much would change throughout that time. It was hard, it is. You have to relearn how to be a parent all over again. Wow, I feel all right. It's weird now being that he's always around. Just shoot him a text and he can answer like right away. I don't have to wait a day or two days to get a response. Like, he's there. I mean, I don't know. It's different. It's very different from just we're not used to it. Debbie's been mom and dad, and but I've always been able to either call or email throughout my career and kind of calm her down or talk to them, figure out what's going on with them. That's one of the most beautiful things about him. He's so humble. He's, you know, he throws it right back on me that it's you know, I did double duty, but it was never without his strength and love that helped us get everything accomplished that we needed to do. I mean, we were definitely a unit. I don't think it was just me that sacrificed. We all sacrificed. As a family, we've all made the decisions together. We sat down and they understood that I had a chance to retire earlier, but I didn't because I could give them something. I gave them both $50,000 for college. So by me staying in extra, I gave them a chance to go to college for something maybe they weren't going to get scholarships or anything else, so they have money to do it with. Through everything, we've still we've stayed together, which is awesome. I mean, a lot of families would break down, separate. Parents get divorced because of military stuff all the time. I mean, my parents stayed together. They love each other very much. I mean, that's something I would want to look forward to in a relationship as I get older, the love that they have for each other. And they can show it so easily, and it's, they, you don't, they don't have to force love. It's just there. I just think he's the best, I really do. He is so supportive of our kids. And I mean, I think sometimes more supportive than me. And I'm just like, how do you do that as a father? And he's so, he's emotional and he's nurturing. He's just wonderful. He's very unselfish and looks out for everyone else before himself, which sometimes is a pro, sometimes is a con. But for us, we love it. No matter the situation, he'll always be there. He'll drop everything. Even if he has to do something, he'll give up anything for you. He's kind-hearted. He's just, he's loving, and that's all I could ever ask for in a dad. It's great. He's a great dad. For us on Father's Day, it's a different experience because we've only got to experience two or three times, and we don't really remember it that much. But, I mean, this year we finally get to do it as a whole family and get to ex express feelings maybe we haven't expressed before because we haven't really been in that situation. I just wanted to be, be around for, for Father's Day because I don't really get to enjoy it. So I wanted it, the ones that, that really mean the most to me to be around. So Listen, even if we don't do anything, we just sit around. I'm okay with that. Just because if you're in the same room with me, it's the same effect to me.